Laura Sabor, yeah. Oh, it's faded out to a different oh. color, huh? Oh, wait, like five yeah. Can you get the, yeah. can you get the yeah. color on that? Because yeah. that's a distinctive thing about Laura Sabor, yeah. Oops, no focus. There we go. Chlora Saboria. Chlora Saboria. I see. This is the dried one that you brought in. This is a dried one that I carry around with me because you don't see it all that often. There's a lot of it in the Campbell Creek drainage area. The mushroom itself is a little turquoise cup that might only be, you know, that big. Uh, it might be just a couple of millimeters or it might be a centimeter, but not much bigger than that. And it doesn't fruit with any great regularity. The turquoise staining is the outstanding thing about it. Um, this is a mushroom whose mycelium is also turquoise. I'll tell you about mycelium in a while. But the mycelium is so overloaded with turquoise pigment it stains the wood and in <laughs> earlier times if the wood wasn't too punky craftspeople and woodworkers would use it for marquetry and inlay it was called tonbridge ware and they would just use this colored wood for art craft, you know um, oh the mycelium could penetrate a, a more firm wood yeah the mycelium is is has been there in the past i suspect it's probably dead and what it's done is to simply leave its pigment on everything so that's the, that's what you're looking at there most mycelium is white some are yellow very few um, but most of them are white oh it looks like a buffet yeah it does <laughs> 